Welcome back, everybody. It is quarter to seven, and we are celebrating Western New York and the next phase of the program that's been making Buffalo healthier for more than five years now. As Daybreak's Lauren Hall explains, it taps into the stores that tens of thousands of city residents live close enough to walk to. A cooler stocked with colorful fruits and vegetables, baskets of fresh produce lined up by the front door. Up until a few years ago, this would have been a rare sight to see at a corner store in Buffalo. We actually refer to it as food apartheid because some of these communities, they don't have um, resource to uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, um, healthy choices. That's why coordinator Sheila Bass got the Healthy Corner Store initiative going back in 2016. Since then, it has grown to 13 locations in the city, and now the program is moving on to phase two. My background is nutrition education, so we definitely realize that educational component is so important. Um, uh, sharing folks um, information, how to stretch their food dollar, how to access fresh fruits and vegetables and healthier choices. And now that they've made over the inside of the corner stores, Next comes the outside. Thanks to a partnership with Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield, several stores will be getting upgrades this summer to spread the word about where the healthy food is. Buffalo's Golden Corner on Jefferson Avenue by Canisius College will be getting a new awning. The other stores are receiving signage, um, illuminated signage, um, just a beautification of the, in, the, um, the areas and within the store so it's bright, it's welcoming. And it's really more than beautification of the store. It's really part of an overall neighborhood revitalization effort. These stores are anchors in their community. So while each step to a healthier corner store may seem small, they all add up to make a big difference. Difference. And I'm sure when you yeah. started this, there were people that didn't think it would work. No, they, exactly. That's exactly what we were. Um, uh, that's what exactly what was communicated to us. Um, that you know, people in the community, they, they don't want this. They won't eat that way. They don't make those choices. Um, but lo and behold, that is so far from the truth. You know, all communities, we all want the same thing. You know, we want want to thrive and be healthy and well. For Channel Two News Daybreak, I'm Lauren Hall.